Whoa, whoa. Ding. Cake for Cairo. Cake for Cairo. What's up, Quick Fixers? It is so nice to be... Uh-oh. What's up, Quick Fixers? I am so excited to be back. And you guys, today is a special, special day because we have a tiny, tiny special guest. My daughter, Cairo. This is actually... Cairo, this is your first episode cooking with mommy on Quick Fix. Do you want to say hi, Quick Fixers? <laughs> so Cairo absolutely loves cake. And guess what? We are going to be making cake today and Cairo is going to help out. Thanks to Baby Shark's Big Show airing Fridays on Nickelodeon for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. Cairo and I, we are so excited about this amazing new show because this show is gonna teach Cairo and you know so many kids out there about the value of family and friendships. Look at these little cute little sharks. These are baby sharks, aren't these cool? What color is this, Cairo? Blue, blue. and then what color is that? Green. Green. You know, this is so surreal to me because you guys were the first ones that I had introduced Cairo to when she was just a tiny, tiny, tiny tot. So to see her like right now having fun with me in the kitchen, tears. <laughs> Do you want to say cheese? Cheese. <laughs> One of the ways that I get Cairo excited about being in the kitchen with mama and baking is bringing some of her favorite characters, right? She absolutely loves Baby Shark. She loves that song. Watch this. Cairo, Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, do, do, do. Bringing in fun characters really helps her, you know, get excited about being in the kitchen. Baby Shark, he goes on adventures with his best bud, William. Hey, Baby Shark, wanna get our game on at the party puddle? Every day, Baby Shark is filled with fun, right, Cairo? Family, and happy tunes, right? Clues, 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 we're looking for clues. Clues, clues, clues. Baby Shark really helps me, you know, get through my day, making my day fun, enjoyable, and especially, you know, bringing Cairo into the kitchen. Right, Cairo? Baby Shark is helping us have a great time baking a cake. Friends forever. They always have my doors open. Fish friends forever. You know, family and friendships are really, really important. And it's so great to know that there's a show out there that are instilling these wonderful values in kids. You know, you have to give me kisses. You. Aw, thank you, Cairo. What I love about this show is it'll give me, you know, some free time to do other things around the house while Cairo will be entertained. And not only will she be entertained by watching the show, but learning some amazing, you know, important values. All right, you guys, so Cairo, she had to, you know, step away for a little bit. She's on the phone with her daddy. She is definitely a daddy's girl. So we are gonna be making a box cake. You guys, this is so incredibly easy. You don't have to be a professional to make this cake. They have the dry ingredients already measured and ready to go. Easy! The only thing that you have to worry about are the wet ingredients. First, I'm gonna add my vanilla cake mix. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it into this mixing bowl right here. Oh, I can smell the vanilla. You can already smell like cake. Do you love the smell of cake? I love the smell of cake. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. All right, you guys, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my instant vanilla pudding. Now this is my secret ingredient. Shh, I'm only telling you guys, okay? Because you guys are special and dear to me. So we're gonna add this instant vanilla pudding and this is gonna make your cake nice and dense and moist. It's gonna be delicious. There we go, do you see how easy this is? My hands aren't even dirty, look at that. There's no flour everywhere, this is easy. Now we're gonna start adding our wet ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add four eggs to my mixing bowl. As mentioned, <laughs> 
Wow, Tia, let's get that in there. We don't want to waste you egg. Oh my gosh. Talking and cooking at the same time, you guys, it's not that easy, but it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Let me just wash my hands. <laughs> With this recipe, it's totally fail proof. No anxiety here. <laughs> wow, I'm so dramatic. Maybe that's why I'm an actress. Yeah. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we are gonna add some vegetable oil. Now you can use any neutral oil. You can even use coconut oil if you like. And then we're gonna add about one cup of milk. And then we are going to whisk away. So you guys, I have to tell you a story about cake at my house, okay? I thought it was perfect to bring Cairo in the kitchen um, to make this, this cake with me because Cairo loves cake. And you know, sometimes it's hard getting your kids to eat, right? It's just a part of, it's a part of life, right? And many of times I'll trick Cairo into eating something and say, this is cake, it's cake, it's cake, it's cake. She'll fall for it for a minute, you know, but once it's in her mouth, she's so smart, she realizes that, you know, this is not cake. Like, mom, what are you doing? This is totally fail-proof. You don't have to worry about overmixing. It's very forgiving. So this recipe is great, you know, for busy, you know, moms like myself. All right, you guys, so this looks really nice and smooth. I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my cake mixture into this baking dish that I've already sprayed and I've lined it with some parchment paper. Now I'm doing that because I don't want my cake to stick when I take it out. You guys, this smells so good. So I put my cake mixture into my baking dish and I'm going to, with Cairo, we're gonna cut them out into small round cakes. But you know, this is extremely versatile. You can put them in a bigger cake round, right? Or you can even make these into cupcakes. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna throw this into the oven at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Now, you know a cake is done. When you put a toothpick, right, you pierce it into the cake and it comes out nice and clean. Let's go. All right, so my cake is out of the oven and it has completely cooled. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the top layer of this cake. Keep the knife flat as possible. Okay, so you don't wanna throw this away, okay? I do not like wasting food. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this over here into my baking dish. And you guys, you can make some cake pops. You can crumble this up and put it in some ice cream. Not only that, you can make a fruit parfait and just kind of, you know, cut these into little cubes and throw them in there. Delicious. So I am just gonna use this cookie cutter, this round cookie cutter. Now you can use pretty much anything um, that's round. And I'm just going to place it on top of my leveled cake here. I'm just gonna take my knife, little small paring knife here, and I'm just gonna help get it started, right? Just like that. Okay. And then I'm just gonna push down, no twisting. But just go ahead and push it down like that. And do you see how easy and smooth that went in? And then I'm going to take this out. And look, you guys. <gasps> we have a beautiful, round, tiny, small cake. Look at how pretty that is. You're so cute. You're so cute and tiny. I don't know what it is, but I love like little tiny things. So I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna put these small round cakes into the freezer because I want them to get really nice and firm so that it's easier to put the frosting on it. The reason why you don't need to buy pre-made frosting is because you pretty much have all of these ingredients already in your house. So 
We have powdered sugar here, we have milk, and we have butter at room temperature. Now, you wanna make sure that your frosting is really nice and smooth, and to get smooth frosting, you wanna have room temperature butter. Now, this happens to me all the time, you guys. If I've forgotten to take my you know, butter out to um, cool down, you can just throw it into the microwave at 10 second increments until it gets really nice and soft. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to cream our butter. Okay, so my butter, it's looking nice and smooth. And now I'm gonna add my powdered sugar. I'm just gonna add maybe a half cup in there at a time. So I'm gonna be using all of this powdered sugar, but we don't want this sugar to go all over the place, right? So that's why I'm just adding a little at a time. It's like snowing. It's snowing powdered sugar. Sugar and butter just it's like a nice harmony. So I'm just gonna add a splash of milk here just to get it nice and creamy. Oh, you guys, this smells so good. This is the point in time where I really have to stop myself from putting my finger in and <laughs> like tasting or even grabbing like a spoon and just so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some blue food coloring. So I'm coloring it blue because again, we are making these really cute baby shark cakes and I want the cake to look like the ocean. A little goes a long way, okay? Three, four. Perfection. That is all we are going to need from you. Thank you very much. My family, we're from Eleuthera, which is in the uh, Bahamas, and that's what this blue is looking like to me. You know, like the really light, beautiful, blue, clear waters. I don't know why I just talked in a British accent. I'm talking about the Bahamas. Wow, dear. The stuff that goes on in here. Uh, Look, you guys, are you, are you filming this? Four? this? Okay, yay. Four, five. And she just bit. It's yummy. Oh, <laughs> All right, you guys. So we have our special guest back, my lovely, beautiful daughter, Cairo, and she's going to be helping us decorate this cake. And you guys, again, this is a fail-proof cake, so it's very easy. Even a little tiny toddler can do it. You can even have it just like that if you want to. Isn't it good, Cairo? Cairo is just going away over here. Oh, wow, yes, you can totally pour it and have just loads of fun. I mean, it's raining sprinkles, right, Cairo? Oh, yes, uh, wow, yes, tear it up, girl, tear it up. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I frost um, my cake. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of frosting here, right? I'm just gonna put a little bit on my plate like this. And this is gonna act as an adhesive for the cake so that it doesn't go and slide all over the place. So I'm just gonna take one round cake right here. I'm watching Kyra like on the side of my eye over here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my first coat, which is called the crumb coat. And we call it that because you know, as I'm frosting my cake, little bits of crumbs are gonna get into the frosting. It's okay, it's all good. So I'm just going to just do my first layer here. Mmm, oh my gosh, Cairo, you're gonna be bouncing off the walls, girl. So you can keep the cake this size, or you can do like a double layer. I'm gonna go for the double layer. Cairo, do you wanna frost your cake? Look, you take the frosting like this, and then you put it on your cake. Do you wanna do that? Yeah? Okay, so dip it into the frosting right here. There we go, good job. And then you're gonna, yes, just like that. Good job, Cairo. We're making, we're making baby shark cakes. I can't help it, it's too cute. What? Resist the cuteness. We're making baby shark cakes, Cairo. And you see our frosting is, is what color is our frosting? What color is this? Blue. Blue, good job, baby girl. Okay, so that looks great, right? And then now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put another cake right on top. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. 
Wow, Cairo, did you, 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 wow, you did such a good job. Do you wanna do more? So you see how this is getting Cairo into the kitchen, um, making our cakes. We have, you know, our baby shark theme. <laughs> We're keeping her busy. Look, Cairo, you're going faster than me. Look at you, girl. You go. Are you going to be a cake baker? Okay. Put it on top of your cake. It goes on top of your cake. There we go. Wow, look at that. <gasps> did you guys see what she just did? Oh, wow. There you go. Well, while Cairo is eating her cake. I'm finishing up my crumb coat and I am gonna put this in the refrigerator so that it firms up nicely. So Cairo, do you remember going to the aquarium and <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Cairo, do you remember going to the aquarium and seeing a real shark? Cairo, when we were in Chicago, and actually I have a video, um, so you guys make sure you check that out. We went to the aquarium and, you know, there's so many different fish in there, turtles, dolphins, and there's sharks. Cairo, what does a shark, what does a shark do? Goes like this. You wanna go like that? Shark, 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 shark. Oh, wow, oh. My cake is now out of the refrigerator. It's firmed up nicely. And now I'm gonna add another layer of frosting. So you wanna frost one cake at a time because this is gonna harden, right? And we wanna put sprinkles on top of it. So you don't want your frosting to harden because the sprinkles won't stick. So we wanna do this one cake at a time. We're gonna definitely have to get you some milk after this because your sugar levels are probably all right, you guys, so I'm done frosting my cake here, and now we're gonna start decorating, but I'm gonna show you guys a little simple tip. I've just put all of my um, sprinkles right here on this sheet pan. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my cake here, and I'm just gonna lay it down to the side, just like that, okay? And then I'm just gonna nicely roll my cake. Wow, just like that gently pressing down. And as you can see, look at that. Look at how pretty that is. And then I'm just gonna start sprinkling my sprinkles right on top of the cake. <gasps> look at how pretty that is, Cairo. This is a baby shark theme here. So I cut out some of the characters. So right here we have baby shark, do, 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 do. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, grab it. You want to grab it? Okay, mommy's gonna put it on here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna just place it right there, right? And you know, you could put one of these characters on your cakes, or you can do two. How about we put mommy shark and daddy shark together? And then we're gonna put Grandma Shark right there on our cake. And you know what, I think you have Grandpa. Where's Grandpa? <gasps> Here's Grandpa. We can put Grandpa there. Look at how cool that looks. <gasps> you did a good job. Ah, wow, Baby Shark Cakes. Cairo, can you do me a huge favor and say subscribe? Can you say subscribe? Why? You heard it from her. Subscribe! I hope you guys enjoyed watching myself and Cairo making some really cool, fun cakes. I'm also really excited that Cairo got to participate in her first ever cooking video for Tia Mori's Quick Fix. I also wanna give a huge shout out to Baby Shark's Big Show, airing Fridays on Nickelodeon for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video.